Hi, it's Adrian again. Uh, got a couple machines in. It had bad armatures on them, so I figured I might as well uh, show y'all some videos on how to test these couple different ways to test these armatures. Um, I mean, this one's totally apart, a uh, pretty much. But um, if you didn't have it apart and, and you just had a, a meter, um, easy way, I know I already showed y'all with the ohm meter, multimeter. Uh, put it on ohms where it sounds whenever you have continuity. Like I said before, all you're doing is is going from the shaft, which is ground, all the way around the commutator. You can hear that one beeping, it means it has a ground. Um, I mean, you can visually see right here when you get the, the stator off, all that black mark and stuff where that winding right here got hot. This machine's still welded, but it welded real cold. And uh, I, I just took off the band and uh, put a meter on real quick and checked the com, and it was, it was of course, grounded out. Um, but another way to ch test, if you have a mega, I believe I got this on eBay for a couple hundred dollars, but. Um, so you're just gonna pick it, put it on mega ohms. You're putting 250 volts through it whenever you hold test. So you're going from from ground through the through the uh, armature through the windings to the com. And what you want is it to go all the way up and overload, meaning there's not a no continuity, no short, nothing. Uh, in the, the armature. If it stays down here zero or towards the bottom, you most likely have a have a short somewhere in there. And it's grounding grounding through. Um, let me see if I can do this one handed. Uh, so you're gonna put your ground on the shaft. Your positive on the com. And then holding test, you're gonna put 250 volts through the two leads. I got zero, so that would be bad. I'll show you over here on a exciter armature, on a good one, what it should read, or how it should look. Kind of tricky. One handed. See, that's... See how it goes all the way up and overloads? That means that's good. You would check both of these slipper rings. I don't think I can do it one handed, but uh, you get the idea. This was another bad rotor out of a Vantage 300. Um, kind of see in here where this plastic split and these windings came came undone from that molding uh, splitting on. See it right there. There's another spot right here. The winding just comes out and arcs out on this iron. Uh, also, another way, if you you don't have meters, is a light bulb test. You're just gonna get a light bulb socket, socket, and a good bulb. Have the two wires, one uh, hot, one ground. Um, go ahead and test the bulb while, while you, you have it out off. 
whenever you have continuity bulb comes on what you what you don't want is the, the light to come on showing that you have a a uh, a ground through the shaft on these let me see if I can do this so I'm going to put let's see let's see if I can set this camera up show you over here this other one one of these comms uh, one of these comms are uh, grounding out the other isn't so you're gonna put one on the shaft one on the comm that comm's good. That one's not. There's a couple other ways to check the armatures if you uh, have questions. Uh, or if they're questionable if, if the machine isn't acting right, if it's not welding. Like I said, this, this is a classic two. And uh, positive lead on the terminal was uh, grounding out for I don't know how long um, on the machine and uh, and they fixed that problem and then went to weld with it and it welded real cold um, you can have you can smell a smell whenever you had it running too uh, coming from the generator and that was that was that winding there just smoking um, you really don't want to uh, run it, keep running it, uh, something like that. You could probably uh, screw something else up. Um, but uh, let me know if y'all have any other requests, if y'all have any questions about this. I'm no expert by any means. I, I work on these machines a lot. I'm no electrical expert, but um, let me know what y'all would like to see. Um, I'm gonna post a, a Vantage um, video here here shortly um, from that where that armature came out of. Um, just a little troubleshooting to to uh, isolate the problems and check check the power through the boards and all that. If y'all have that having that kind of problem. Thank y'all for uh, watching.